You have got to be kidding me. Hey guys, so I competed in a competitive tournament today called the Mulan Cup. And look who we faced in the very first war. None other than the world champions. Are you serious? Like, this is class champs from last year. They won the Town Hall 15 um, World Championships. Selenio, Leo, Peso, and Loop. With Bernal thrown in there as well. He's also a top-tier pro. Like, I, I can't believe how unlucky we are. But <laughs> then at the same time, going up against the world champions is pretty cool. And I somehow managed a three-star Bernal as well. I'll show you this attack. So this is Bernal's base, and I'm using Queen Charge Recall into Root Riders. So I've attacked this base quite a number of times in Legend League uh, over the past month or two. It's it's relatively common. So I I it's fair enough that uh, these guys are not using their best bases against us like in the first round. So it it, it would. Yeah, they're just using like random uh, Legend League bases, which is fine. So, yeah, it's just using a Flame Flinger from one corner of the base and then a Queen Charge from the other. Before you test, before you put down a Flame Flinger, you want to put down either your Yashi or a few Barbarians, test for the um, Teslas or uh, Skeleton Traps. And then once it's all funneled from both sides and Queen is recalled, you can just spam everything in down the center, all the root riders, your king, your queen, your warden, apprentice warden, and all the healers, and a few balloons as well for the test for any seeking air mines. Uh, I'll just show you the equipment I'm using real quick. So my uh, giant gauntlet is level 21 at the moment with a max rage vial. I'm using the max invisibility vial with the ice, uh, the frozen arrow. I do normally use the healer puppet, but I'm uh, just trying to use the frozen arrow at the moment because it's you know it's a new equipment. Uh, very standard with the warden, just using the healing tome, which goes very well with the root riders, and then obviously save a jumping. So yeah, it's it's fairly this fairly um common base. I just power through the whole thing. I tend to. Try make sure I heal the healer or rage the healer as I'm going through the base because they obviously provide more healing for the root riders instead of focusing on raging the root riders instead. And with all these bases as well, you want to try and make sure you have plenty of cleanup because um, this is a slow attack. Like you normally start the root riders at the latest two minutes. If you start so many um, uh, later in the attack, you could actually uh, result in a time fail. So. Clean up is definitely key for this uh, for this army. So yeah, that's uh, that's me three starring uh, Bernal. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I'll show you another attack that we did. I just want to say as well. Uh, I just want to say thank you, uh, Warmongers, for giving me the opportunity to uh, participate in a uh, competitive tournament with you. I very much appreciate it. Uh, it was SMP Grant that uh, got me to. And they asked me if I wanted to participate and say, yeah, sure, why not? So this is um Emolicon is using uh Queen Charge into Super Bowlers. So normally I don't know if it's normal if you use a Queen Charge, but I suppose you could use a Queen Charge as well. I usually use a Warden Walk when I'm using the Super Bowlers, but to be fair I don't use Super Bowlers too often, so <laughs> It would be be asking me, oh, is it, what's a recall attack? I didn't see. I haven't actually really seen these attacks yet. I was um, I was busy at the time. I had to get my attack in, leave. For these um competitive tournaments, there is like it's like five minutes of um preparation day, and then it's like forty five minutes of uh, battle day, and uh, you don't you don't just attack whenever you want to these competitive tournaments. You have to attack um. At, specific uh, time frames so 
one team has to attack first. Like these these time frames and the attacks are only really for streamers that are um, streaming the wars for you. Uh, so the first attack usually is around the 37 minute mark for the first team. And then the second team, their first attack is at 33 minutes. And then every other attack after that is basically staggered by every four minutes up until about one minute left. So it gives uh, the streamers time for um, the viewers just to watch every single attack instead of them all going on at the same time, which is fair enough. So yeah, this is the Queen Charge Super Bowler attack. Now I'll show you our final three star that we got against uh, Clash Champs, essentially. So this is Bevop. He's using looks like Queen Charge Lalo. That's a very uh, that's a very tough army to use. It's going with the Super Archer Blimp. It's a super, no, it's a Yeti. It's a Yeti bomb. Never mind. Okay. I think ideally you want to try get this uh, Scasher and the Grand Expo, ideally, but um, it kind of fell short. There's a bunch of Seeking Air Mines over there. It's very nice having the Frozen Arrow with these uh, Queen Charges as well, because it does slow down the defenses and um, she's targeting quite significantly. It can reduce the DPS to the buildings or the defenses by up to like seventy five percent, which is very significant. You'd notice it a lot with um, a lot of uh, point defenses. Oh, just because she used the invisibility vial, the CC troops actually went away from the queen with the king. All right, so here comes the Lalo. sending in a few balloons at a time with a lava hound tank. Few minions in the behind to clean up, make sure you don't time fail. You don't really want to spam in the balloons too much. You want to try like um stagger them out so they get they target um specific defenses. For the Lalo as well, tend, generally you do tend to use the Eternal Tom with the Life Aura, which uh, yeah he does because uh, the balloons have very little hit points, so you need the extra. Uh, hit point boost that life aura gives for low hit point troops in order for it to power through the base. It's, uh, it's almost a requirement. I never really see um Lalo attackers using a healing tome or the rage gem or the rage gem. It's always like the life aura with the healing or the eternal tome. Alright, so that's that's all our three stars during this war. Um I'm gonna show the other five attacks from the uh, the opposing side, but um, I'm not going to do commentary on it because there's, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of attacks to go through. So you can just use the timestamps um, to go to whatever attacks you want to uh, want to watch. I'm sure you would want to watch all of them because these are from the World Champions, so they are very good attacks. Sky on your mind. 